Hey guys, it's Matt Higgins. So in today's video, I want to talk about midichlorians, what they are, what their purpose is, and some of the behind the scenes aspects of them, as well as answer questions that are somewhat controversial. As most of us know, midichlorians were a pivotal part of the prequel trilogy, as well as Star Wars The Clone Wars TV show. So first, let's start by examining what midichlorians actually are. Now, as Qui-Gon says, midichlorians are a microscopic life form that resides within all living cells. And this is basically summarizing what they are, but let's go into a little bit more detail than that. Metachlorians' homeworld is the wellspring of life that we saw in Season 6 of Star Wars The Clone Wars. As life expanded out from the core, so did the metachlorians. Now metachlorians reside within all living beings. So we're going to have to talk a little bit about biology. And by biology, I mean very simple biology. All living things on Earth are composed of cells. Cells are the building blocks of life. Eukaryotes, which are what animals and plants are made of, have multiple parts, including a nucleus, ribosomes, mitochondria, and a cell wall. All right, so going back to midichlorians now, midichlorians are essentially just another part of the cell. Except the amount of midichlorians per cell varies. This is why they are associated with someone's strength in the force. So this is where it gets kind of controversial as I know a lot of people who don't like the midichlorian aspect think that it's a way to quantify the force or it takes away from the mystery of the force. Actually, midichlorians are more like a bridge. This is a bridge between the cosmic and the living force, which allows living beings to interact with the force. We don't want to mistake midichlorians as being the force itself. The force is still a mystery here. The only thing that the midichlorians do is explain how living beings are able to interact with it. So at this point, some of you may be wondering what is the difference between the cosmic force and the living force? In a quick nutshell, the living force is the force that feeds on the energy of living beings. It's the same force that allows Jedi to turn into force ghosts. On the other hand, the cosmic force is the force that flows through everything. Just like Yoda says in Empire Strikes Back, it's the force that flows through the rocks, or inanimate objects. Alright, so let's talk now about what the midichlorian count means. In this context, let's think of midichlorians as a radio tower. In this analogy, the number of midichlorians that someone has is equivalent to the antenna height. Now if we think of the force as a radio wave, if the antenna is taller, then it has a larger range of communication. In Anakin's case, his metachlorian count is over 20,000. So just think of Anakin as a really, really, really tall radio tower for the Force. So Anakin has better communication strength with the Force. So that's kind of a good way to think about it, is if you think of metachlorians, think of metachlorians as a radio tower, and the Force as the radio waves. All right, so to keep this video brief, let's talk a little bit now about the behind the scenes. George Lucas originally came up with the idea of metachlorians back in 1977. To quote George Lucas, it is said that certain creatures are born with a higher awareness of the force than humans. Their brains are different. They have more metachlorians in their cells. Now this was a quote from 1977 taken directly from George Lucas's guidelines for the expanded universe. So then you may ask, well, why didn't we see metachlorians in any of the original trilogy films? To put it simply, George felt like it would be too soon to introduce metachlorians directly into Star Wars. So to wrap up my point, metachlorians were not just some jerry-rigged concept to explain the force in The Phantom Menace. They actually were an original concept that George Lucas came up with back in 1977. Alright, so to wrap up this video, basically, when you think of metachlorians, think of them as the telephone wire, or 
the electricity line or the radio tower to the force. They're not the force itself, but the way that living beings can communicate with it and interact with it. So that's going to wrap it up here for this video, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Other than that, have a great weekend and may the force be with you always.